Here's an example of a unit conversion with cubed units. Uh, and this is going to illustrate something else as well that I failed to cover. Um, when we have two prefixes in our metric conversions. So we'll kill two birds with one stone here. So here we're converting 195 cubic kilometers to cubic centimeters. When we have squared or cubed units, I think a good strategy is to first figure out how you would do the conversion without that power, the square or the cube, and then put it back later. So we're going to pretend that we're converting 195 kilometers to centimeters. The, the safest way to do metric conversions, if you have two prefixes, you should do two steps. This unit has a prefix, ki kilo, and the other unit also has a prefix. The examples we ended up with in chapter one last week didn't have anything like that. We only had one prefix to no prefix. When you have two prefixes, you go from the first unit to the base unit without a prefix, and then to the other prefix. So we're going to go kilometers to meters to centimeters. It doesn't matter what your prefixes are. This always works. You can do it in two steps. It's possible to do it other ways. But people make mistakes, it's dangerous, so I don't recommend it. OK, so if we're going to do this, we've got our path. We're ignoring the cube for now. And we're just going to follow the path. 195 kilometers, we have two arrows. So we're going to have two um, conversion factors. Kilometers to meters to centimeters, kilometers to meters to centimeters. Just follow the path. We want to get rid of kilometer, so we put that in the denominator here. And then that would cancel out. And then we want meters to cancel out, so we're going to put meter in the denominator here. OK? Now we need to know the mathematical meaning of, or the numerical meaning of the prefixes. So kilo means 10 to the third, and centi means 10 to the minus 2. Think of those prefixes as nicknames for those numbers. So here I have meter over kilometer. This is the abbreviation. On the other side of the line, I want to put the numerical meaning of that, 10 to the 3. So just kind of as an aside, I'm going to talk real quick about that. In conversion factors, very important that the top be equal to the bottom. So let's say we started out with one kilometer divided by one kilometer. Does one kilometer equal one kilometer? Duh, of course it does. What if now, instead of kilo up here, we wrote what kilo stands for? So let me erase that. And I'm going to write what it means instead, 10 to the 3. And I'm going to put a times in there. Does the top still equal the bottom? Yes, it does. That's how you make a metric conversion factor. So that's, that's where I get this from. Um, to make that easier to do on your calculator, make that 1 times 10 to the 3rd. Now you can use scientific notation to enter that. And let's put a 1 in the denominator because a lot of people don't like units without any numbers. So then over here, I've already written down what centi means. Am I going to put the 10 to the minus 2 on top or on bottom? bottom. On the bottom. I don't want to put what it means with the abbreviation. Because then you do the equivalent of saying that one, one foot is 5,280 miles. Does that make sense? No, it's ridiculous. And we recognize that because we're familiar with feet and miles, but we sometimes get it backward with metric units because you just you're not familiar with them. So centi on top and what it means on the bottom. One centimeter 
is 1 times 10 to the minus 2 meters. Any questions yet? Okay, so we got the kilometers to centimeters thing straightened out. Now we have to take care of this cube. Because it isn't kilometers, it's kilometers cubed. So I'm going to put this in a different color just to call attention to it. I'm going to bring the cube back in. This cube applies to the unit. It doesn't apply to the number. This original number is 195 cubic kilometers. In here, though, if I want cubic kilometers in the bottom, I have to multiply or raise the whole conversion factor to the power of 3. And over here, I need to cube the entire conversion factor. OK? So let's, let's write that out in a more uh, expanded form. We're going to get 195 cubic kilometers times 1 times 10 to the third cubed meters cubed over 1 cubed kilometers cubed. Because when you cube this whole term, you cube the number and the unit. Over here, we don't cube the 195 because there's no parentheses around this. This cube applies only to the unit. And then over here, this is not times. I mean, not equals, it is times. 1 cubed centimeters cubed divided by 1 times 10 to the minus 2 cubed meters cubed. Any questions? Well, one cubed is easy. That's just one, right? Um, but what about these guys? How do you do that on your calculator? It kind of depends on the calculator that you have. I have a, a TI-36X Pro, and that's the one I recommend that you get. So I'm going to walk you through on that one. So. I'm, the keystrokes that I'm pressing here are 195, and then I'm going to go times 1 EE -E 3, and then this calculator has this nice little button, X to a box. So to cube 1 times 10 to the third, I'm going to press that X to the box, and then I'm going to press the number 3. Then I'm going to move the cursor over to the right because I don't want to end up with 35 as my exponent. And then I'm going to go divide by 1 EE -E minus 2. And I'm going to press this guy again. And I'm going to cube it. And then I'm going to press equals. And I'm going to end up with 1.95 times 10 to the 17th cubic centimeters. Anybody else get that answer? Okay. Always do a calculation twice. Another way you can do this is you can simply multiply by this term three times. Times 1 EE3, times 1 EE3, times 1 EE3, and then divide by this one three times. And that'll do the same thing. A little tedious, but if you have issues with your calculator, that might be easier. Does that seem like a really large number? 1 times 10 to the 17? It does seem pretty big. But let's think about how big is a kilometer? That's on the order of a mile, right? That's a really long distance. And then we're talking about a volume that is 195 cubic kilometers in each cubic kilometer, there's a lot of cubic centimeters. Cubic centimeters are little tiny things. So then coming up with a huge number like this is reasonable. Any questions? Is there a way to work that out without a calculator? Is there a way to work this out without a calculator? Yes, there is. Like, you could show us without us having to do 
be like, would it be like three pages worth of material? No, no, it wouldn't be three pages. Um, I'll go through this quick because um, people who are going to get it will get it right away. And people who don't get it, just use your calculator. It's absolutely fine. Um, one of the nice things about metric units is it's all factors of 10. So if you understand powers of 10, you can do this without your calculator. So 10 to the third cubed, that's, then you're going to multiply the exponents. So this is 10 to the 9. And down here, this is 10 to the minus 6. If we're dividing by 10 to the minus 6, that's the same as multiplying by 10 to the 6. When you multiply 10 to the 9th and 10 to the 6th, you get 10 to the 9 plus 6, or 10 to the 15. And then the other two, the difference between 15 and 17 comes because this was 195. You move the decimal place over 2, and that's how you get 17. So if that made sense to you, awesome. If it didn't, don't worry about it. Any other questions?